I'm addicted to cooking and just heroin. Those are the two things I take and see great as well. I grew up in a polygamous home. Father had two wives and ten children. I'm from Delta State, I'm an Urobu. I went into the university, Ambusale University, Ekuman. And that was where my problem started with drug. I'm a mother of three children. In the life of drug in the street, I had those kids. Leaving it became a problem. And that was I have been in this journey now for 18 to 20 years. I started with something called the blue. Then later I graduated to skunk. Then later I graduated to crack. The very day I saw it, I tried it. And so since then, I've been smoking it and having control. The sense has increased because there are a lot of young people that are getting into the act on a daily basis. The reality of substance abuse in Nigeria is huge. It's grievous, it's devastating, it's a time bomb waiting to explode. Because when you look at the group of people that are using it, that the people from children to adolescents. There is hardly a home that does not have issue or someone they know who has issues with drugs. That is the reality. And the drug, the substance, they exist everywhere. Young people are the most vulnerable. You discover that even old people who are using drugs today started at younger age. Social media is, is a very, very huge problem because people tend to get um, influenced by what they see on social media, young people especially. On Instagram, you see videos of yes. young people. Your age mates smoking and having fun. A kid now watching a music video and seeing someone popping a helm. This person feels, oh, this is cool. I have to try this without knowing the effect this has on him. It is really an horrifying experience to have um, someone's word to be hooked on drugs. That it is not in my house does not mean my neighbor will not experience it. The biggest influences, I would say it starts to sister from the family. We are getting it wrong in parenting. We all need to go back to intentional parenting. Intentional parenting is very key. When drugs are available to charlatans, they see business, they see money, they see prosperity. It is a failure on our own part not to put those systems in place by legislation. Nigeria may be the only country where drugs and medications are sold in open markets. It's a public health issue that must be treated as if somebody goes to a clinic for hypertension. The same thing should be about drugs. We need to help them before it gets to that final stage of destruction. I know drug addicts who cry in the joint after taking the drug. It's easy to say I will stop. Talk is cheap. I will take it. I know when I can stop. It's very easy. But of course, crossing the line is just a snap away. The minute you get addicted to it, you don't get that feeling anymore. When you don't smoke with Jones, so the challenge you now face is meeting your Johnson problem, no longer getting high anymore. Like I promised myself that when I come out of it, I'm going to be an advocate for the younger people who hold seminars for the students and show them that this is the cocaine, this is the heroin, and this is what it does on a junkie. So if these people have seen the side effect more this young generation will not end. I the condition of my life today is a pathetic story. <coughs> I am not where I'm supposed to be. I'm not missing with the right people or doing the right thing at the right time anymore. Because once you are into drug and the people in the society know the S 
you become segregated, you understand? They exclude you from every other thing because you're no longer trusted. Like me, now I'm dying already now because I got pleasure smoking. So my advice is that me the not say groove there. There's no fun, there's no groove. Because the end result of it is bad past the enjoyment. The bitterness, the suffer, the pains. It's more than the pleasure. So why would you want to, to sacrifice your happiness, your healthy life for, for just a fun of 15 minutes? The numbers are increasing every day. And um, it is important we create awareness and let people know out there that Drugs is not it.